Okay, guys, so we're live right now. Shout out to the chat over there. We're going to be reacting to this video by Alex called The Rise of Roblox's Richest Kid. Let's check it out. This is Hazard, the creator of Please Own It, and a kid who became a millionaire from Roblox. I think he's like 15 years old. Age of 15. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure Bro's like a billion Roblox in his account. But how did he get so successful? In 2019, the 13-year-old Hazem was a builder for a Roblox game. His first ever game was called Hazem's Builds, but sorry this experience is private. Private is for a reason. Fast forward to the end of 2019, he made this game called 2020 Countdown. I don't know why it's- Bro, this guy's game. talking way too fast. You got- Alex, you got calm down. Let's dial it back a little bit. You talking- Talking fast, okay? 2021 countdown. Come out with your friends at Countdown to New Year 2021. <laughs> 2020, I think. In the game, it says Happy New Year's 2020, and usually this empty space right here would say how long there is left until New Year. Yeah. In April of 2020, Hazem made the compliment machine. So it's basically shuffling a bunch of compliments, but I'm not, I'm not seeing compliments right now, bro. I see ugly, idiot, dog, good thing. Click A on the screen to start. Okay, here we go. I am weird. Why are you... What he's doing? True. Why are you bullying me? Yeah, that, that's the whole game. In early 2020, Hazem started working on one of his biggest projects yet, Rocco. As you can see, you can create a world, I'll just pick mini base play, and you can build literally whatever you want. There was a ton of features to make your builds really specific. A lot of progress is actually made on the game, but then... Yeah, it got discontinued. That didn't really matter much because... He did that when he was 13 years old, bro. When I was 13 years old, let me show you what I was doing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, look! Ooh! 21 hasn't released a bunch of new Roblox games and his first ever viral game. Started with Music Maker. So he basically made music by clicking on these blocks. Yo, this is fire! He then made Disc in Roblox, a Roblox game that lets you message people on Discord. As you can see, you can message people through the Roblox game, actually have regular conversations with people. What? Hey yo, that kind of looks like... But now it says here, you do not have permission to send messages in this channel. And that's because Discord released an update that completely broke the game. Click it, Popcat. You basically click as much as possible and it adds to your country's click statistic. Hold on. Check me out. Boom, bam, bop, bada bop, boom, pow. Oh! There's eight people playing this game just sitting here. What's the point, bro? And he also made Keyboard Defender. What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> Mother. Ah, category. Fish. Oh. He also dropped two truths and one lie. You type a truth, hey, yo. another truth, yes, sir. and a lie. <laughs> and then your friends pick which one's the lie. Just kidding, you don't have any friends. Oh. And then, on the 10th of August 2021, Hazard will release his first ever viral game, Type Race. Inside the game, there's four different game modes, and Squid Game kinda took off. I remember this! I didn't know he made this game! Oh, snap! Hey, yo. Alex. Alex, what is this? Yo. You are 13 years old, man. You have barely hit puberty. Okay? You haven't even gotten hair under your armpits yet. Okay, Alex? Let's just chill a little bit. All right? On October the 7th, Hazel would release some footage of this game. And this was whenever Squid Game was kind of popping off. Don't ask you why this video looks like pure rubbish recorded on a 240p Nokia. This tweet got a thousand likes. I was liked by Flamingo and a bunch of other Roblox YouTubers and devs. And the biggest reason for their game success was the video that Kaneko Kitten made on it. And nobody's really seen this yet, despite the fact that this is like probably the most unique take on this trend on Roblox. Alright. No! <laughs> A month later, the game would hit 1 million visits. On February the 7th of 2022, Hazen would tweet saying, I made a stand game where you can have others tip and donate at your stand or donate to other stands. And the game was called Please Donate. The map was really basic and the idea of the game was that you walk up to a stand, claim it, and the game scans your Roblox inventory for shirts and game passes that you have on sale. And then the shirts and game passes appear as buttons on your stand so people can donate to you. Yeah. But a day or two later, the map got an update, they added some new music, and this is when the game began to take off. In less than a day, the game had already reached 100 concurrent players with no ads up, and a day later it already had 1,000 players. The game was already doing numbers in the first two days, but this video by Alvin Blocks would completely change everything. Yes, it's no joke. In this game, you can literally earn Robux by just playing. He tries to make 50,000 Robux, but then Hazem joins and donates 70,000 Robux twice. Yeah, 140,000 Robux. He came back and he did it again. He donated another 70,000 Robux, which means we got around...
like 99% of all the Robux I have on my account right now, which let me show you how much it is, by the way. Let me just pull it up real quick. Um, so I currently have uh, 2,370,000. Uh, about 99% of that came from Hazem. So uh, thank you, Hazem. I appreciate that. Bless your face. 153,000 Robux. I mean, it people start to realize this game was actually making people serious Robux. And that's when Creecroft made a video titled, This Game Actually Gives You Free Robux. There is a game on Roblox that actually gives you free Robux. So the game is called Please Donate. It has VR support. I need Robux to. I love how I pointed that out. By the way, it's got VR support. You know, I just want to let you know. Invest in limiteds, all donations help. This guy is actually over here dancing on top of his stand. His says emotes. Every YouTuber is making videos on this game. A please donate game. For real Robux. Donation game. Please donate. It's called please donate. Please donate. Please, please, please. I, I think this is going to become the biggest Roblox game. Even tutorials about setting up your boots and how to make Robux were getting millions of views. But then... On February the 21st, 2020 is saying my game please donate was content deleted, huh? even though it didn't break any of Roblox's TOS. You can see in the image that the thumbnail is gone, the title is content deleted, and so is the description. You also added, I literally didn't get an email or message from Roblox, I have no idea what happened. Someone pointed out this happened straight after the donation board was hacked. Obviously, these bacon accounts didn't actually donate 1 billion Robux, and if you search up the- Yeah, the game, the game got hacked, it used to get hacked a lot. Accounts, it'll say play donate me it's better and it link this game right here could donate me Bruh. which is a knockoff version of please donate which i guess the developers try to promote by hacking the regular please donate you that's a good idea you know if you make a game that's competing with please donate just hack please donate and tell everyone to play your game instead that, that that'll definitely work Blocks had another explanation for this. At first, I wasn't too surprised that Roblox content deleted this game. He basically explained that back in 2014, there were similar ideas of donation games. However, these donation center games never seemed to last very long. I honestly think it's because Roblox don't like the idea of players getting gifted and donated Robux. He came to a conclusion that either it was a bot which picked up the game and decided it was like a scam or something, I really don't know. Or maybe a Roblox admin noticed something wrong with the title or description and they felt the need to moderate. It. Either way, the game came back anyways. People start to notice that they were getting less Robux than they'd expected. Everyone knows about Roblox tax. Pretty much, if I give this dude 1,000 Robux, he's supposed to receive 700. Thing is, he actually only gets 600 Robux because if you buy someone's Roblox product inside a game, the creator of the game also gets a 10% cut. Dude, Hazem's so smart, dude. He All he's got to... This is what he does. Like, this is how Hazem makes a million dollars. <laughs> That's all he's got to do, because everyone else is just giving him money. Like, that's it. Yeah, Hasm got 10% of every single donation from Please Donate. Most people as an agent probably turned all of this robots into real money and buy cars, houses. But Hasm didn't do any of that. Well, kind of because he can't. Huh? I'll explain that in a second. But instead, Hasm gets a build a reputation of giving a bunch of robux away. I'm, I'm scared. No way. No way. No way. Oh, oh my God. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go back! Oh, wait. Oh, my. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. He also began to attract the attention of popular YouTubers who also wanted some bread for themselves. Bro! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, guys, 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 oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we have a million Robux. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Well, I know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna. There I am, look at me. There I am. I mean, even I show speed. One million! One million! Another million! Ah! Ah! No matter who he donated to, big or small, videos and clips of it would go viral. And at the same time, Please Donate continued to grow. One of the biggest pushes for Please Donate's popularity was a video made by Laserbeam. At the start, he mentions- I've like barely spent any Robux yet. I have to say thank you to Hazem. He donated me all these Robux. What a legend. And towards the end of the video, he goes into Please Donate and starts giving away a ton of Robux. This is a game called Please Donate by Hazim, the very Hazim. man who gave us the Robux. That seems a reasonable amount. Have a thousand dollars. There you go. Slide Roblox for real, and I watch you all the time, and I am sub. Well, because you're subscribed, have a hundred thousand Robux. Yay! 
It's gave a big boost to the game's player count, but we're forgetting something. You're probably wondering why Hasm can't turn any of his Robux into real money. A tweet from Hasm reads, I make games He's and I've a kept kid. from my parents for years now, and I want to tell them, but I'm really nervous. What should I do? I mean, I guess that makes sense. Imagine being like, hey, mom, I just made $2 million from a silly little Roblox game. You what? I made $2 million. The game went on to have a small My mom would be like, so listen, uh, I got this bill in the mail, and um, I don't know how it got in your room, but somehow I got in your room. Oh, wow, there's another bill in your room. You see that over there? I don't know how that's happened. It just They just keep showing up in your room over there. What's going on? What's happening? Live event and a Christmas live event in 2022. Okay. Okay, chill with the white stuff. Please donate now averages over 25,000 players and nearly 1 billion visits. Uh, hey! We're going to ignore the swear word. Uh, so, actually, I, I do want to say this. Hazem, um, uh, where is it at here? Hazem, what did he say? He says, I make games, and I've kept it a secret from my parents for years now, and I want to tell them, but I'm really nervous. What should I do? So, like, this is a, actually a really big problem. Um, you know, let me put the challenge on the screen. So, like, a lot of kids, they'll make a lot of money. This happens with YouTubers. This happens with Roblox developers. This happens big time with actors, right? They'll, they'll be in a movie. They'll make millions of dollars. And then, so... As a kid, there's a lot of um a lot of like legality. So like for example, if you're under the age of 16, you legally can't work in a lot of countries. So like in the United States, if you're under 16, you you can't work. Like it is illegal for you to work. So like if you get paid a lot of money, um well at least work so many hours. You can work, but you it's very limited. Um, that's why if you go to Walmart, you know, the people bagging the groceries, it's normally like 16-year-old or something like that. But anyway, so like what happens is the parents get all the money and then the parents, some parents, they'll just keep the money and they won't give it back to the kid. So I don't know how, how parent or how Hazem's parents are, you know, um, like my, my mom wouldn't do that. You know, uh, I'm sure a lot of your parents wouldn't do that. If you made a million dollars, your parents would probably be like, Hey, that's awesome. Congratulations. I'm going to put it in a bank account. When you turn 18, you can have it. Right. But like, uh, obviously that's scary for like someone like Hazem. Cause it's like, you know, I'm 15 years old. I've made all this money. I'm probably a millionaire or something. And like, you know, th th there's so much stuff to, that goes with it. There's like taxes, you know, like technically if you're under a certain age, I think your parents have to pay the taxes or something like it, it, it's very complicated. So like, I don't blame him. Uh, obviously, one day he's going to have to tell his parents, though, um, like that's crazy that they don't know. But um, yeah, that's um, that's uh, that's how Hazen became a uh, Roblox rich kid, I guess.